So more details have emerged regarding the upcoming Star Trek Picard series, including some casting news and rumored character breakdowns. First things first, the series is due to be set in the Prime Timeline, which, as we learned in Midnight Edge's video, is basically a term coined since the 2009 J.J. Abrams reboot to describe the original Star Trek canon from 1966 to 2005. All Star Trek productions after Enterprise ended in 2005 were made under an alternate Star Trek copyright license. CBS licensed the creation of an alternate Star Trek to Paramount that was legally required to visually and tonally differ from the original Star Trek canon by at least 25%. That 25% difference applied to a whole host of aspects of Star Trek, including spaceship designs, uniforms, and more. The comic book Star Trek Countdown describes the events in the Prime timeline prior to Star Trek 2009. It's based in the 24th century and features Ambassador Spock, Jean-Luc Picard, now Ambassador to Vulcan, and Captain Data, who now commands the Enterprise after his memories were implanted into B4. It takes place eight years after Star Trek Nemesis and explains what occurred prior to the destruction of Romulus. It concludes with Nero's mining ship, the Narada, and Spock's vessel, the Jellyfish, being sent back in time, thus leading to the creation of the Kelvin timeline. In the Countdown comic book, 24th century uniform designs are also that little bit different. Midnight's Edge believes these aesthetic design changes were likely made as a result of the alternate license agreement that required them to be at least 25% different. So with that out of the way, it's important to understand that the new Picard series is being produced under the same alternate license agreement as Star Trek Discovery and the J.J. Abrams films. The Picard series will begin filming in April of this year and is due to take place after the events of Star Trek Countdown. In essence, though the series is based in the Prime timeline, it is connected to the Kelvin universe because it picks up in the 24th century sometime after the destruction of Romulus. It will show us what happened in Picard's life since then. From the casting details that are doing the rounds online, and again, they're not confirmed, the series looks like a bit of a ragtag ensemble show, more like Firefly than a Starfleet-based Star Trek series. At least, that's what I'm getting from these character breakdowns. We know that actors Santiago Cabrera and Michelle Hurd are going to join the cast. From an article posted on thathashtagshow.com, there will be 10 episodes in the first season. There will be seven main characters. Obviously, Picard is the primary lead. The following character descriptions for casting purposes are not confirmed, so take these with a pinch of salt. The character Starton is a male of any ethnicity in his early 30s. He specializes in positronic brains and is terrified of space. He's charming in a self-deprecating way and is excited about the research opportunities on Picard's mission. It goes on to say that his demeanor will evolve over the series, but it does not say in what way. Then there's Connie, a female who is also in her early 30s. She's African-American and has a quick temper, but is also quick to forgive. In addition to dealing with the loss of her husband, she is also avoiding a death sentence on her home planet. She's a mercenary pilot who uses her ship to transport people to and from an artifact of some kind, though the ship is massively overqualified for that job. Well, I think the use of the word artifact here is very interesting because I'm thinking that it could suggest that the show will focus on Picard's life after Starfleet and on his archaeological pursuits, which were a hobby of his during his career as captain of the Enterprise. Lawrence is a handsome man in his 30s, of any ethnicity, who has a dodgy moral compass. He's the pilot of the ship Picard takes on his mission. Being a capable and enthusiastic thief, his loyalties are questionable. The show's doctor is Dr. Smith. <laughs> is that a nod to Lost in Space? He's a male in his 30s or 40s, of any ethnicity. From the description, it sounds like he's an upgraded or wholly new version of the EMH. He's described as a hologram who helps the crew through emergencies encompassing engineering, tactical, science, investigation, and medical issues. He was programmed to learn but not become too self-aware. He's calm, efficient, and empathic, but he sometimes has difficulties sorting out others' emotional reactions to get at the facts. Kabar is the youngest of the leads. He's a 17-year-old Romulan and the only child of what's a mainly female spiritual order. A martial artist and considered a lethal weapon, he's prone to mood swings and is committed to living in the moment with as much transparency as possible. He takes his devotion to Picard and his mission extremely seriously. Obviously, they're looking to find someone with martial arts experience, but also note that fencing is a plus as well. 
Idira is a female in her early 20s of any ethnicity. She's extremely smart and physically agile, but maybe not so mature and a bit socially challenged because she tries too hard. Her intelligence often gets in the way of her manners. I'm getting a slight Tilly vibe here. She's cut off from home and her difficult mission puts a strain on her maturity. She's still finding her way in the wider world. Alana is a female in her mid-40s to mid-50s and is of any ethnicity. She's a brilliant analyst and has a great memory despite abusing drugs and alcohol. Oftentimes she gets irritated with her own vulnerability and is certain of herself, even when she's wrong. A former intelligence officer, she sees conspiracies everywhere. Her professional and personal losses weigh heavily on her. Assuming these character breakdowns are real, this series does sound very strongly character-driven. I'm disappointed it doesn't feature any other prominent TNG character, mind you, but I suppose it's possible they could make guest appearances later in the series. As for the show's main plot, it's pure speculation at this point, but these character descriptions have me thinking that this show could be somewhat similar to the fan series Star Trek Renegades, before it was rebranded as a non-Star Trek series due to the draconian new fan film guidelines. My guess is that this is a show about a crew of misfits on board a small vessel with a very specific mission in mind, commanded by an elderly Jean-Luc Picard who's no longer in Starfleet. That's certainly the theory that's going around at the moment, but time will tell. It is interesting to consider that this Picard in this new series is going to be around the same age as his future counterpart in the TNG finale, All Good Things. I wonder if there's going to be any mention of the possibility that he could have Eremotic Syndrome. If the writers can resist inserting too much politically correct social justice nonsense into the show, and that's a big if nowadays, this kind of concept could work. I'll admit that I'm not a fan of Alex Kurtzman's contributions to the Star Trek franchise, but I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt here. After all, it does sound like a radically different series to any previous incarnations. What do you guys think of this news about the new Star Trek Picard series? By the way, we still don't know the official name of the show. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.